This is the bracket. Yep. Yeah, well, sucks to suck. I don't know. Third. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't mess up a lot. Never mind. I see it. I see it. I see it. Who are you playing this week? How? How did you set break? Uh, first tiebreaker was Adam's vote was cast for Oliver's container. That's not a that's not a tiebreaker. Yes, it is. The second uh, tiebreaker was uh, in one 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 character ready Oh my god. That's so either way about either way about one. I hate you. I demand a recount. Do we have to restart recording? No, no, it's already started. Alright, I was paying attention. Doc versus Puff. FD, I actually disagree 100% with this stage strike because I feel like Doc can't get in, but I feel like if Bill Camping is uh, Flush's game plan, then I think he'll do alright. But I do think Puff's back air is really hard to maneuver around as Doc. So that's like textbook. The thing is, uh, Flesh has a lot of patience, and, yeah, okay, well, <laughs> for this matchup, is, yeah, whatever, but, but, like, Flesh has a lot of patience, and it, it really benefits him in the Puff matchup, and none of our Puffs have any patience. No, that, they're also, see, like, I disagree with this, like, the way Mel is playing, he's playing retreating, and he's playing scared, and I, I think that's just the wrong way to go about the matchup, like, especially against other floaties, I feel like you just have to put on the aggression with the back airs and, like, threaten space, make sure that, like, the dog's second guess was it, whether he wants to throw a pill, because right now he's throwing pills, and he doesn't care. Yep. Pills are really laggy, really easy to punish, but he doesn't care, because Puff's, like, half the stage away, so there's really nothing that Puff can really punish it with, because she is fast in the air, but not that fast. But I feel like... Since Fle uh, Fletch took that first stock pretty fast, to be honest, in a floaty matchup, I feel like Mello was already tilted. I agree. Oh, that was cool. Oh, okay. yeah. That was a nice combo. That was, I don't know if I agree with the DI, though. Yeah, it was probably some long DI. Yeah, but... I also feel like Fletch should be wave dashing and a shield grabbing those up smashes, because it get... it's hard to grab Puff, but you should take it every time, every chance you get. Wow. Alright, this is a, just a raw F air. I hate myself because I just said F air. As you should. Damn. Yeah, no DI on that down throw. That's gonna lead. It actually leads to quite a bit of damage. Socks down air does. I wanna say around 20%. Mellow is tilted really hard right now. Yeah, he's definitely not playing the matchup correctly. Oh, that's yeah. A, yeah. That was an ambitious forward air. But it, like it wasn't unwarranted though. Yeah, I feel like when you when you're that far ahead, like it, it you have. could just play it out. But like taking those big risks can be really beneficial because it would have basically closed out the game. Yeah, if if if, if Fletch took that stock. I hate this matchup. But I think Fletch actually doing a really good job playing the matchup correctly. Fletch is. Like, his Loki, not even Loki, he is just amazing in this matchup. I agree. He's actually really good versus floaties. Yeah. See, the buff is struggling to get in, but these dog combos and yeah, NESDs. That's yeah. yeah, game one. We got pretty convincing three stock. One minute. Some coaching going on. Oh, there was Dreamland. See, this is not. I disagree with this pick. I think FOD probably would have been better because the way Mello is playing it, unless he's completely changing his play style, the way he was playing it was not doing well. Yeah, he's I think giving FOD's Doc right too much player. space and giving Doc more space to throw pills just is bad. Yeah. But uh, it's been. Oh, there we go. It was literally 20 seconds before someone took it. Percent. So the problem with, with Mello trying to camp is that he doesn't have a, have a lot of patience, so as soon as he starts doing it, he'll get he's, he's getting frustrated. 
him. So this is literally just playing playing into Fletch's hand, where Fletch can just get to sit there and throw pills, and maybe he'll hit, maybe he won't. That's not the point. The point is that Mellow is literally tilting, and the game hasn't technically started. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mellow once tried to camp me out on FOD, and I just decided to camp back, and he definitely gets too impatient. Uh, went for a ballsy F smash. Yeah. But, uh, didn't really get punished that hard for it. He made it back. But there was really no edge guard to be found. Honestly, I don't know how you commentate that. See, like right there, you should be shield grabbing. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's scary for Doc because his grab range is extremely bad. But, like, you, you can't just give up and throw us all off. Those are so good. Like, it's the same with the Marth matchup. It's like, it can be hard to grab Puff, but, like, you can't just not, like, down throw. Mash is out, good mash. Missed the L cancel on that there. I think this is definitely possible. I feel like, uh, I, I'm not 100% certain, but in their history, I don't think Fletch has... I don't know how many times Fletch has beaten Um, I don't think he has, actually. Yeah. So maybe this is, this is a good pick, just, like, based on history. But... But it's going pretty even. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely messed up. Mel taking a breath, refocusing. See, and just like, just like you said, like he already abandoned his strategy of of camping him out. Like he is technically down. He should be approaching, but I feel like you don't have to. Exactly. It's Doc. He's gonna die in two back airs. One if he gets it poorly. That was a really good dash back. Okay. Yeah, see right there. When Doc's up, when Doc's down being like that, you just drop back air. Yep. You have so much range on your back air, and there's really nothing you can do about it, because if you I hit him out of it, he's dead. Did you just talk there? I was not paying attention. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, Fletch is really just doing a good job at mixing up his approaches. Like, he is pill camping quite a bit, but he, he makes sure to make sure that, uh... That his double make sure. Yeah. But, uh, he makes sure that Puff knows that uh, he can still approach, he'll, he'll throw in a fair, he'll throw in air, yep. and that should be dead. Yeah, Mellow is a uh, terrible DI. Yeah, actually, he could have looked that if he did that. Though. I feel like Mellow is already lost. Yeah. Even even if he somehow takes this game, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Doc's counter picks aren't that strong. But, yeah, I also... This looks mid point done with the game. Oh my god, he waited at that spot, though. That was a really good read. Yeah. And, uh... Flush is kind of throwing out moves right now. Yeah, he's, well, he's definitely well, well aware that Mellow is tilting really hard. So he, he's kind of abusing that. Yeah. Fuck. Come on, But... Yeah, thanks, man. Set it down somewhere. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, I'm making a sacrifice just, commentating Doc Buff. He's just know. kind of F-smashing in neutral now. I do think that this matchup is really yeah, is interesting. But Jab down smash is going to do it. I think. Oh, no. That's a good talk. And, and it's over. Yeah. Both the fist out. That's what's Free stock on Dreamland. That was, uh... That was disgusting, to be honest. Fletch, it didn't I, your sets. I... And, uh, that was, uh, dumb. I think Fletch played like that really well, though. Hey, Faust. Faust! Faust! Can you play Chunk? Play Chunk. On stream, play Chunk. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend? Yes. Yes. You played neutral so bad. I played lost. Yeah. You're playing too scared. I hate that I did so much. I know you do. Thank you. I almost went ice. After the idea, I was like, I can go ice and I still go ice. I definitely should have gone ice. I think, I think FD is a really good stage 
for buff against Doc because Doc can't approach because of his back arrow, and because it you, you, it didn't work, I feel like you should just went ice. The problem was because like buff wasn't working, him, and it wasn't working. Yeah, no. they're making really poor decisions. I think if you just tighten up your neutral. Also, you need to edge guard Dog. He's losers are top 24 D. Wait, 2 1? 2 0. 2 0. I was gonna say. Alright, now he plays. Oh, I thought he was playing. Who's he playing? Oh, he's playing. He's playing the loser of this, so he has to wait for that and then. Oh, uh, Alright. Got Falcon Buff, Hand Warmers. Let's go. This, this is a more exciting matchup. This is an actual matchup. Um. I, I don't know, man. Like, I think matchups like Dog Buff are cool. You're waiting on the winner of Katar and Jiggle Physics. So you're either playing a Samus or a Puff. I love Peter, bro. When, but, I, when I watch Wizzy play this matchup, I feel like it is... It's pretty scary for Puff. It's pretty scary for Puff. I think, but, like, are they playing? They just, I think Jiggle Physics just took a game off. Um... Yep. So, this matchup, more of a matchup. Anyway, as I was fin finishing point earlier, Dark Buff, interesting matchup, kind of similar to like Peach Mark. Like, it's an interesting matchup to talk about, but yeah. to watch, I can agree it's pretty boring. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Like, not having a fast follower just instantly makes some matchups feel a little bit rough. I didn't mind watching it though, because I have, well, I have like a lot of respect for the way Fletch plays. I do as well. I think Fletch is actually super good. Yeah. I just think he comps it a lot of the time, which is kind of bad, like his back throws. Yeah. But anyway, new match. 